What's up everyone, it's your girl Lifestyle by Mari and I'm back and I'm better than ever. I'm gonna make this real quick and easy. We're on the way to Houston to turn up for one of my line brother's birthdays and we're gonna have a good time and take y'all right through it. So traveling was a really tough time. Obviously you see us in the airport and guess what happened to us? Okay, we missed the first flight. So we're gonna go Cousin. take two. Okay. No worries, take two. Hopefully we make this one, so let's go. We will. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> Flights will leave by six, miss that. All right, $700 later, we're on the next flight that we've been nine. If we miss that, you know why. Nice. <laughs> sure. stop this. Okay, a couple drinks in, and we made it to the gate, and... We made it to the gate yet. We're almost there. We're almost at the gate. And then we're gonna... Vlog, we made it. We in there. We walk in. Oh, it's up. I'm smiling under my mask. As we said, we missed our flight, but we finally made it to Houston. As you can see, our friends are lit, turned up to see us, excited. And we decided we're gonna head back to the Airbnb, but actually we couldn't because we had to stop by the other airport to get our bags because that was the mix up in the airport. Traveling was crazy, but we ended up finally making it. We're all lit, having a good time riding back to the Airbnb. And we all decide that we're hungry. So we take a little pit stop and we stop at Whataburger and we end up splitting a box of food because we're all starving at this point. It's like midnight, maybe a little bit later. And that's in a different time zone. So it probably was like 1 a.m. in our regular time zone. So as you can see, it was feeling good, very happy and grateful to be there. Okay, we just stopped to get some things for the boats and um, getting ready to go. This is the truck that we all fit in, so. So before the boat, we actually have brunch. So as you can see, we're getting ready real cute. We're going to Leland House, which is a very delicious brunch spot. Everyone's food was delicious. They had delicious mimosas that you could DIY practically. And we just had a really good time. So we got to eat, enjoy ourselves before we head out onto the boat later on. So this is me just checking myself out, getting ready. But as you can see, this is Leland House. And oh man, when I tell you the food was bussing and the ambiance was very nice, we got to sit outside. Even though it was, well, and I tell you, it was hot in Houston, but we still sat outside and had a good time. Had to get some, had to get some momentum. Hurry, okay. it touched the car. Moving on to probably my favorite part of the trip. So after brunch, we went back to the house to change and got ready for the boat. We actually reserved this boat in advance. So we got an opportunity to have a good time and be solo on the boat. We were able to bring our own food, bring our own drinks, really enjoy the time on the boat so in a few clips you're actually going to see us on the boat and this is us just preparing for everyone to hop in the car to get ready to go to the boat as you can see i claim shotgun a lot during this trip because why not there's so many people in the car that i just was like first to call it every time but before we actually went to the boat we decided to stop by the liquor store because it was bring your own bottle on the boat so you could bring everything they had a lot of supplies and it was really nice. So this is us walking up to the boat, getting ready for the turn up. We were able to connect to the speakers on the boat as well, which was a lot of fun. We brought a few sandwiches some things to keep us hydrated um, outside of liquor and food. So we had a good time. So this is cheers on the Okay, so moving on, the day didn't end after this. So we went back to the Airbnb, we all showered, we all changed, and we excursion. So 
The other half of the group, they decided to go to an escape room. Me and my good old LB, Charnay, we decided that we weren't very interested in the escape room. So instead, we did an immersive gameplay. So it's called My Immersion Game Box. And it was a lot of fun. So we got to put these things on our head and it could, you know, sense where we were in the room. And we did a Squid Game themed gameplay. So that took about an hour and a half. We had a really good time doing it. And it was just a little side mission for us. So we didn't have to be with the group the whole time. The final patch is 27. You didn't take them off, but it takes a lot. Yes, we sure did. And the day still wasn't over. We actually hopped into a party bus after called Fetty. Really great experience with the Fetties. They're only based out of Texas, but they're like Ubers, but actual party buses, which was a lot of fun. Hey, this is us getting ready to go to hey, Camp Houston. Oh, and I'll just turn let around. you the audio from now. Show them your ice. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, now. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, me next. Wait. Ooh. 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 Come on. Get into it. No ice for me. Okay, so the next thing that we did was go to Camp Houston. As I told y'all, and I didn't play the audio in the background of this because it's all not my music. So I didn't want to play any of the audio, but we had a really good time at Camp Houston. It's a really popping place, really well known. We reserved a section and had a very nice section. Um, one thing I can say is I felt like the server tried to finesse my friend. She definitely never gave his card back. And then we asked about it. She gonna pull it out of her little fanny pack. But besides the point we were enjoying, it's Kobe's birthday officially. So they brought out the signs, brought out the bottle. We got a margarita tower, as you can see. The ambiance was pretty nice. Okay, so it's a new day after a very long and fun night. Today we are going to brunch again. I can't remember the name of this brunch spot. I did like it less than I did like the first one. So I'll let you guys see. So for the most part, the ambiance was beautiful. We had reserved a section originally in this place, but we were late. So we had to sit outside. The ambiance was very nice. They had fans going. They had a little mister going as well because it's scorching hot in Houston. We got two rounds of shot. Me and Charnay shared those. Very delicious. They're like themed shots. Very great. After that, we decided to go to the gallery at the mall. So we wanted to check out some different things. We ran into a Savage Fenty store, which was pretty cool to me. So we're walking around just seeing what we see. I had no intentions on buying anything in this mall, but I still left with two pairs of shoes. Um, really affordable, really great. There was an ice skating rink in here. I thought that was so cool. Ice skating rink in the middle of the summer in Houston. And we're finally here for the last thing of the trip. We went out one last time and this is the cheers before we went out. Yes. Which one All right. Hey, everybody need a whole shot cover their hand real quick. I need everybody with a shot in their hand. If you ain't got a shot in your hand, I'm gonna need two. If you don't have one, that's six, eight, nine, eight. Seven. All right, this shot go out to Kobe, man. Celebrating his 23rd oh, yeah. birthday. Out of Houston, Texas with his um, You know what I'm saying? You got something to say? We really fuck this nigga to love No, we love you, Kobe. We love you. We wouldn't be here if we didn't love you. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so we finally make it to our destination. We took another Fetty to this location. This is actually called Playground. Um, as you can see, Tati was posing. Charnay's in the corner getting pictures of this cute wall with all these lights on it. The music was good. The vibes were good. The drinks were cheap. And um, it was a really good experience in general. Oh my gosh, look at that man running by. Um, but yeah, it was just so funny. So this is us near the end of the night, getting tired. The gang is getting sleepy. So it was giving, it's time to wrap it up, but we didn't quite, we stayed up for just a little bit longer. And after that, we decided we were gonna wrap it up. We ended up going back to the Airbnb for the night. And we just weren't comfortable with Kobe going to sleep. So you know what we had to do. Pulled out that pot and pan and said, I ain't getting no sleep cause of y'all. Y'all not no getting no sleep cause of me. 
and uh, he hated us for this, but it's the bottle, the pots, the pans. You know, we definitely had to make a scene for the last night of Kobe's birthday celebration. The whole weekend, he kept saying, it's not my celebration. It's not my birthday and all this stuff. But we came out to Houston to celebrate him. So we definitely had to harass him a little bit. So, yeah. Last but not least, on the way to the airport, the departure, we rented this car, this Suburban, while we were in Texas. So before we went to the airport, we went out of our way to make sure that the car looked clean, everything was good in the inside. So we took it to the car wash and we dropped it off at the airport. Um, it was really good experience in general. Houston was gorgeous. It was so hot out there, but beautiful city, beautiful people, beautiful food. I would definitely come back and visit on a more chill occasion and, and really get to enjoy the whole ambiance of the city. Um, so yeah, it was a really great experience. This is us cleaning the car, making sure everything looks spick and span. Once we dropped off the car, we hopped onto a bus that took us directly to the airport. Then we grabbed all of our stuff, hopped on our flight, and we made it back to Atlanta. So. I just want to say thank y'all so much for staying with me during the whole video. Shout out to you if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. At the end of the day, Houston don't owe us nothing but a refund from Camp Houston. But besides that, great experience. I will do it again for sure. So thanks for sticking around. Bye.